What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Fogo. And after I posted that video yesterday, many of you were commenting saying that Leona is going to be the other character that's going to be in the Angel banner, which I thought, hmm. And the reason people are thinking that, or speculating that on that, is because of what's on the forum. So when you bring up the forums, guys, you can see that Leona is over here with the same background as Angel. And whenever you screen on Guess a New Fire Participation KOSR, you can look here, guys, and there's a flame in the background. So a lot of people are speculating that because they're showing Leona here, right, and which is definitely a good indication that she is going to be the other character, and you see all these flames, it does hint to you that it's very good chance it's going to be Leona. Now, I haven't seen, personally, I haven't seen any solid confirmation of this, but what we're going to do today, in light of this, is we're actually going to see just how strong Leona is against Infernal Guild Raid. Like, how good is this character? And the reason for that is, you know, we'll see how strong she is in today's run, and then we'll compare her when, you know, if she does end up getting her EX changeup, kit so my leona is actually fairly well built she's got all transcendent cards that give her all these extra transcendent stats we got decreased defense fire critical damage by 10 percent right there we have uh increase uh, defense fighter burn damage by 11.8%, which is really awesome for Leona. All the idle cola cards I have here, uh, increase defense fighter attack by 4%. Then this one here, it actually increased defense fighter defense by 4%, which does buff up Leona's damage. And then this one here, nice increased defense type fighter burn damage by 8%. Lots of extra burn. And then this defensive card actually gives increased defense fighter critical rate by 2%. And the option card here, gives increased defense fighter burn damage by 11.8%. Every one of these cards adds an extra stat for Leona because she is my baby girl. She is my waifu. But, you know, the one thing she is lacking is she does have some good stones. We got the double attack here with the extra burn. The second stone actually increases her strike skill damage, which is godly for her. And then the third stone increases active skill damage. Really good setup. But these here are just single attack burn. So she does have room to grow as far as her damage. She definitely could be stronger if I had like double attack stones. Unfortunately, because of the RNG and Colossal Dungeon, and when you craft these, these uh, stones, you really just never get what you want. Well, I shouldn't say you never. I mean, every once in a great blue moon, maybe you'll get what you want. And I've talked about this before, but... Yeah, so I don't have anything that I can actually put on her. I mean, you know, none of these would actually work on her. Uh, I do have, however, a stone right here that I think uh, increases balance type fighter. This one here increases defenses and defensive fighter, right? But increases dark damage. I'd hate to put that on her. I think there might be another character in the future, but that I could slap that uh, on. And then this one here. Increased attack and balance. So, yeah, I don't really have any stones that I could use uh, for the character as far as moon and star-shaped stones. And the thing that's made Leona still even relevant to this day is the fact that she does have increased target damage received by 35% for 5 seconds upon lose using her first skill. And then she also has increased target damage received by 27% whenever she uses her second skill. And this, I mean, this just makes your characters godly. Like, all the best teams you're going to see out there, they use Leona on the team just for this just so they can get the extra increased target damage received and if you really want to double up and i don't know if it really helps or not i'm not really 100 percent sure but if you really want to help the damage out if you have the city of darkness set then this set here will actually give increased target damage received also by 10 percent which i think does stack but i'm not 100 percent sure on it guys it's it's hard to say but i usually do get more damage whenever i use that set on her so let's jump in guild raid we'll do a live run and see how well we can actually do now as far as the team that i'm going to be using in here on inferno we're going to use this team right here we're just going to use ash i got shizuru for a striker then we got bison of course for his increased target energy from his ex core chun Li for a heal and then leona and hydern now i could put hydern actually in bison's spot and i could give leona guinness as a striker matter of fact let's go ahead and move hydern over here and let's go ahead and switch out and put in a different striker. Let me see here. This increases 70% of his HP, and this increases your attack by 10% no matter what. And I could use Orochi here because Orochi actually has a lot of CP because he is a level 64 character, but I want that decreased skill cooldown. So I'm actually going to put in Ignis here because I really doubt that Leona's going to get below that HP marker because her shield does actually work 
in this game mode. So she won't take any damage for a 7 second duration whenever her shield pops up. And that's something else about this character that's actually quite nice. Now I've only practiced this run one time, so it might not be perfect, but uh, we'll do the best we can. Okay. There we go. Now the most important thing about this is, you know, always guys with these guild raid runs, whenever you're using Bison, you just want to make sure you apply the poison and make sure they apply the bleed from Hydra. And there we go. We we'll use our default here. There we go. And what we want to do is we want to let Rugal blow up on us because we actually have a shield. And, you know, we're not going to take any damage, you know, with her. You know, it's just something that's nice about Leona is you can use her as a punching bag because you don't have to worry about her taking any damage. There we go. I just apply the poison the first time. We'll break the meter a little bit because when you have multiple dots at the same time, bleed and poison, that's when you really break this meter super, super fast. And when it comes to Leona, you really want to use the 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 uh, rotation. So that way you do the optimal damage because whenever you do more strike skills, which is her first and second skill, she just does a lot more damage. There we go, there we go. And all I'm using Ash for is one, his leadership, but also I'm using him to do his 3PG because that way our tag ends are ready as far as our strikers are concerned. Hopefully I don't miss applying that poison with Bison because it is actually very easy to miss that thing. Go. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. God, I love playing with my girl, man. She's so awesome. Blow up on us, boy. And you just don't have to worry about her taking any damage, right? So we get that increased attack by 50%, having Ignis as a striker all the time because she never gets below 70% HP. Right? It's nice, man. It's nice. You know, and then a lot of people, when they play with Keo, they do the same thing because he also has that shield. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Booyah. And, you know... She might have fallen off as far as her damage compared to other characters, but Leona is still an insanely strong character, man. She's still insanely strong, guys. I mean, we're on pace right now to get about 3 billion, and this is honestly relatively easy. Right? I mean, the most important thing is just applying your dots to Rugal, and you can easily break them. And that's another thing about Leona that's pretty awesome is that she does a lot of hits. So it's really easy for her to break the meters because of that. She just does an insane amount of hits because her third skill has those cannonballs or those fireballs constantly moving around her. And they just do a whole lot of hits. And it's just easy to break meters because of that. I could look at her all day, man. Booyah. I mean, yeah, we're on pace to hit 3 billion. Pretty nutty, guys. Pretty nutty. There we go. Like, whenever Rugal does that, whenever he goes into an iframe, that's when you got to be careful about applying your dots. I cannot stress that enough. It's easy to miss your dots whenever he does that. Let's go. And remember, it's always one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three with Leona. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get him, girl, get him. Oh, yeah. Pow. I mean, she hasn't taken an ounce of damage, guys. Not an ounce of damage at all. And she won't. This is why I used to put so much value on shields all the time. And why Leona remained 
a god tier character in my opinion it wasn't really necessarily because of all the damage she could do because she really fell off as far as damage compared to other characters but the combination of the amount of damage that she has and her survivability are just so good god i love that man she's so awesome i am biased so i mean obviously she's my wife here blah 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 now i think a concern that people will have uh when it comes to a character like leona is is she going to be stronger than angel right is she going to be stronger than her uh she shouldn't be i mean angel is going to be an ex character that just wouldn't make any sense at all to have a character that isn't a native ex be stronger than a native ex character that wouldn't make any sense at all and honestly i would probably complain about it if it did happen because ex characters are just much more expensive because you can't get memories for them through the game. You can't farm for them through the game. And that really does make a big difference as far as value on characters. Like Leona, I mean, yeah, you can, you can get BS memories for her through Guild Raid, right? Although there is a huge RNG crapshoot. I mean, I know players that's, you know, been playing this ever since we could, you know, get those BS memories and SS memories from Guild Raid, and they haven't got one yet. Not one yet haven't got an SS or a BS memory. So, I mean, I really think that, you know, Netmarble should, you know, address that. I've made videos talking about that before, how they really should eliminate some of this RNG. It really is ridiculous how much RNG we have in these things for our rewards. I mean, it's just nutty, guys. Look at her go, guys. Three billion. Three billion for old girl. I mean, she's getting it done, guys. Wow. Insanity, even now on Inferno, can easily do super, super well. It's just nutty. Wow. Wow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not bad, almost 3.2 billion for Leona right now. I mean, that's, I mean, guys, that's way more than what you need in Guild Ray. Granted, you know, mine's A5, right? She is leveled up, she does have a really good build. But I mean, three billion, over three billion is a pretty damn nutty score for old girl. So let me know what you think about Leona coming to the next banner. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus seven time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.